Hello, it's Jeff Goodwin. We're just painting um, some flowers on, um, on a card to perhaps give someone as a get well card or just a thank you card, something like that. So you can see some yellow flowers, um, very loose watercolour painting. And uh, we'll show you um, something that's not as loose right away and then we'll turn it into a more loose painting. So I've divided the page up with a pencil line. You can, and I do recommend you fold the page first, your watercolour paper first, fold it in half if you're doing a card. But I've just left it open here just to show you. Um, and I have not wet the paper, but I'm getting a, a mixture of this uh, mid-tone yellow here. And I'm just going to do some basic little yellow flowers. And it's only a couple of strokes of the brush, really. I mean, don't be too technical with it. Getting, getting the petals there. These, these flowers um, are almost the same, all these flowers that I'll be doing here. And you can go over with a little bit, little bit of um, darker yellow if you if you so desire but as you can see there there is some variation in the color anyway of those flowers of the, the flower that I just drew there we'll have to put some greenery in there as well there we go Just very, very simple stuff. Don't be uh, too technical with it. All right, so you might like that the way that is. And I'll be doing another one similar to that. Another couple on the page. Notice I'm, I'm putting them on different angles there, those petals, and different uh, different sizes, not all the same size. little bit of green in there as well that sap 
green, SAP, sap green that I'm putting in there. Just simple, simple shapes there for this particular flower. More sap green. We want more of those around the page there on the front on the front of the card. So if you want, you can leave your flowers like that and um, you can add a few more in, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to um, make my uh, flowers here for this card a lot more loose looking. There's nothing wrong, I suppose, with the flowers the way they are, especially if you add more in. And if you like that, that's fine, but I'm going to do mine with um, a fairly loose um, contemporary look, which I love doing. I think uh, it looks, well, for me anyway, a little, a little bit more exciting. And we'll, we'll, we'll start doing that in a moment. Alright, just getting the brush now and washing it out. Um, just putting a little bit of this um, sap green in, in places in here. Some bases some of those flowers.
You can see there I'm, I'm just bringing this out now. I'm making this look more contemporary now, more modern. I'm putting just clean water on the side there. Now of those petals, you could have left it the way it was, as I said before, but I'm just um, putting some clean water, putting a bit more yellow in that water and letting it just flow out a bit. It's also helping to fill in some of the page there. I will be putting some more flowers in as well. So that's um, the effect that I'm after. And I want some little white flowers in amongst all that too. So um, I'm just going to be putting a sprinkling of some white gouache over the top when we're ready to do that. Some more water there. And some more of that paint there. Just a bit more sap green, just in, just in some areas there. Just a hint. Nothing precise or perfect here. It's just giving the feeling of, um, of these yellow flowers. They could be out in the bush somewhere. They could be in a garden. But I personally think they look better with softened edges compared to um, what we had them looking before when we first started. Looks more modern, more contemporary. bringing the paint back which is uh, um, some paint has accumulated there in the middle of the page so I've just taken that away just a bit watery in one spot
Just have a look at it and see if you feel you need to put something extra in, another flower somewhere, which I, um, I think it does right here. Just a hint of a flower. Just loosening up some of this, um, some of this green around the flowers. Just by putting some water that down there. using a stronger mixture of the same colour. almost dry in these areas where I'm putting just putting another layer over to give it a bit more definition for these uh, flowers in some areas You can see as you go along what you, if you feel where you need to accentuate, give more definition, where you need to fill in maybe give for a flower or something like that, where you need to soften the lines. You'll get a feel of that as you go along. I'm using a sap green here, but you could use um, 
you know, you could use an olive or you could use a, a dark leaf green, something like that, if you wanted to. All right, we'll take the masking tape off. And then we'll fold the card, although I recommend you fold the card first. Unless you want to do a little painting on the back at the same time, you can do it like this. Oh, you know what? I need to put the white little sprinkles of flowers on there, so I nearly forgot, so we'll do that now. Just with some white gouache mixed uh, with some water there on a fan brush, and then we'll use another brush to get, get some slightly bigger uh, white flowers in there. Just randomly sprinkled through. Here we go, just get some that white gouache on a on a brush and we'll just keep flicking it on until I'm happy with it with it anyway. So just the impression of flowers there, um, the yellow flowers and some little white, um, I don't know, baby's breath type flowers if you, if you like, in there. Could be a thank you card or a get well card, anything like that, just to make someone happy perhaps. That's just one idea. And we'll do another one with some different flowers fairly soon and you can experiment yourself obviously and see what you come up with okay so I might just fold this as I said it's best to fold it before you start but I wanted to leave this open because you may want to paint something on the left hand side perhaps for the back of the card but if you don't, I suggest you fold the card first because after it's painted, it can be a bit hard. You don't want to smudge it. 
I'm having trouble right now actually because my card is not totally dry and I recommend you let it dry totally before you try and fold it but I'll get away with it here for this one and I'm lucky to get away with it <laughs> If you want to speed up the drying, you can use a hairdryer. Just be careful the hairdryer doesn't push the paint along, the wet paint across the page. So there you go, um, just, a, just a happy little um, card of yellow flowers with a bit of baby's breath through there. A very loose watercolour, and you can write inside the card, obviously. There's a close-up look for our final reveal. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and click that bell icon. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will be uh, looking forward to doing another watercolour. We might do another flower one next time. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to be with you again.